Hi folks, uh, one of the topics I'm going to cover is supplements. Um, I'm not setting myself up as a nutritionist or anything like that, but um, I've been using supplements for a number of years now, uh, and I've, I'm pretty well read, and I've fine-tuned my stack with um, a lot of the latest information. I think what I'm taking is... Um, uh, you know, pretty basic, good, a bit more than starter level. Um, but I'm sure there's people out there taking in tons of stuff, but um, it's not for me. What I would recommend is you try and get your diet down first. Try and get most of what you need from good food. Um, I started introducing supplements. I was um, what's known as a hard gainer. I'll discuss that in future videos. Um, a bit of its genetics, I think, but also I come from a swimming background. I used to swim um, before and after school from a very young age. Um, uh, hour and a half in the morning and in the evening, we used to do between five and 7,000 meters. Um, so I just had that fast metabolism, I think. And then towards the end of my swimming career, when I started lifting more weights, um, I was 11 and a half stone at age 17, 18. So, and I just couldn't put on weight wherever I ate, just went straight off me. So I got into some supplements, started with creatine. Um, and this is why I'd recommend uh, a new starter, sort of consider creatine's very good. Wouldn't probably, well, it is the most researched supplement out there and it is, is loads of benefits, which I'll probably cover in a, in a future video. But um, I advise people to do their own research. Um, and as you can see from my cupboard, it seems like there's a lot going on there. But um, you've seen in the gym, I've got, I, I buy in bulk, get everything from my protein at the moment. And then I decant into smaller tubs so there's old ones there i won't um, drop any more names at the moment um you probably recognize some of them but they're basically my protein stuff that i've decanted into other smaller receptacles because i'm only allowed uh, one small cupboard in a kitchen you know it's not my domain but i um, can't complain um so yeah what i'd suggest you start with um if you need you know as i say Get your food sorted first. I'm a morning trainer and I can't shovel a uh, chicken breast down me before I go train or indeed straight away afterwards. So I just supplement around my morning schedule really. I have a shake when I get up in the morning and I have one straight away after training. Um, and the basics for me is your proteins, your whey protein, your casein protein, which is slower digesting, much better protein, and the whey is pretty cheap, and um, it's a it's a byproduct of cheese making, I believe. So you know it's it's what's left over, where the casein is a much much purer um, protein in that sense. Um, so I tend to take. One scoop of protein, about 25 grams of whey with, if I'm training, about 70 grams of oats in the morning um, with my five grams of creatine when I'm on. I, I do cycle that on and off, which they used to recommend um, in terms of giving your kidneys a rest. By the way, if you do take creatine, follow the guidelines. You need to drink an extra bit of water. Um, it can dehydrate you otherwise and, and put added pressure on your, your kidneys. Um essentially because the body or your muscles retain um, a lot of that extra water when you're on it so you don't you need to take it in a little bit more to stay hydrated and look after your kidneys um, so yeah that's pretty much all I take before training after training then I take one scoop of whey again 25 grams one scoop of casein which is that slower digesting protein which will you know um gradually release over the next few hours uh, I take some dextrose then which is fast digesting carbs fast release which um spikes your insulin and basically rips the protein into your, into your muscles quicker um, and that's the only time um, I try to have that sort of carbohydrate, that sort of high GI 
um, carb in my diet and, and for those of you that like their chocolate and things like that cakes you know, I'm going to cut it out altogether. Um, I'll, I'll go into this in further depth, but um, after training is, is the best time to treat yourself to something like that, really, with your, your post-workout shake, your protein, getting you fast. So I won't go through everything else. I've got to take a bit of glutamine after training to aid recovery. Um, on the top shelf here, I won't go through all these now, but these are basically vitamins and minerals and omega-3 and stuff like that, basically for my old knackered knees. And you will see if I point in the right direction, this is Primal RLF, which is my um, pre-workout, which I'm trying at the moment for Marcus at Team Affinity. Um, I only use a pre-workout now and then, and this one's particularly high in caffeine and not being a coffee drinker or anything, blows my socks off. So, um, yeah, try about with those. And um, what I recommend with, with it all is um, try things for yourself. Introduce one thing at a time. So if you want to start with a bit of whey protein, um, carbs comes down to the individual, whether you're looking to bulk or or cut, maybe you don't want carbs. But um, certainly after training, you could do with some protein, um, you know, added to your diet. Um, unless you're happy eating tons of stuff like shoveling um chicken breast then you know, like they're going out of fashion or wherever you get your protein you know other sources are available for the vegans out there and stuff um yeah that's about it for now that's my that's my stack in a nutshell but i will explore this in further videos um give a bit more information but as i say start with the basics add one thing in at a time and see how you go see how they affect you see if you get results from them uh, my stack i probably spend with all this all these pills and everything um no more than 25 pound a month it works out um and that's quite uh quite an exhaustive stack it's everything you you need really so you don't want to be spending any more than 25 pound a month i would say certainly as a someone new to it get your protein from decent sources um my protein for example is if you get it on the you know on the discounted rates and use my discount by all means get an extra 30 percent off you know you haven't got to be spending the earth on these things um you know other brands a bit more expensive my protein's bang on in terms of quality um taste I, I'm not a big foodie anyway, to be honest. I don't care what it tastes like. You know, I just chuck it down my neck. But um, some people like a nice flavor, you know, and they do massive, low, high range of flavors. They're all, you know, nice. You know, they're, um, if you want to sip them, you know, they're nice, drinkable. Um, but as I say, you know, if one's cheaper than the other one, I get the cheaper one personally and just tip it down my neck as long as it's not coffee flavor. Because, I, I, you know, again, I'm not a coffee drinker but there we go hope you enjoyed this little brief introduction to um supplements please subscribe like my video if you liked it and look out for future content thank you very much